can get started here in just a minute, guys. guys but uh we'll, we'll get started so thank you everybody for being here with us today for the uh, bellator 175 rampage versus king mode 2 press conference this fight takes place this friday from the uh from chicago's all-state arena and it airs live and free on spike at 9 p.m eastern 8 p.m central just yesterday we were at the uh, madison square garden and today we're here at the top of the willis tower two of America's most iconic landmarks, so this is really some exciting times for, for Bellator. Uh, limited tickets do remain and are available at the Allstate Arena box office, as well as Ticketmaster and Bellator.com. Uh, at this time, we're actually just gonna start with some opening comments. We'll start over here on the left with Sergey Karatana, if you wanna give us some opening comments for, for your fight on Friday. Очень рад, что я выступаю в Чикаго, здесь на Беладоре 175. Для меня большая честь, что я выступаю здесь. I'm very glad to be here and um, be in Chicago at Bellator 175, and it's a great honor for me. Okay, your opponent, Chase Gorman. Yeah, I'm really excited for this fight. I'm going to go out there and have a good fight for you guys and uh, put on a good show. Hope you enjoy it. And back to my left, Manuel Sanchez. Thank you everyone for coming out. God bless. And uh, be ready for an exciting fight Friday night. I'm ready to throw down the Windy City. See red. Laura? Estou muito feliz dentro desse evento, participando desse evento. Uma grande oportunidade para mim, estreando numa nova categoria. I'm very excited to be a part of this event. I'm excited to make my debut at Featherweight, and it's going to be a great fight. Well, I'm ready to fight. That's about it. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, same here, I'm ready to fight, let's do this. Great, well, with that, we're just gonna open it up for media questions. If you guys have a question, please raise your hand and wait for the microphone. Let's start with Dwayne. This question's for Chase. Uh, you've been in a, a nice groove lately. You, you got uh, you know, a pair of good wins, and now it's arguably the biggest part of your career. Well, how, how do you feel right now with uh, how, how things are on the upswing? Uh, it's good, man. This is an opportunity for me to actually come out and show my skills and actually, you know, show that I can beat top guys, and he's definitely a top guy. I mean, uh, his last fight, I don't think that showed how good he really is. It's going to be a very tough fight for me, but that's what makes fighting so fun for me, because you challenge yourself. And this is for Quentin and, and, and Mo. Uh, you know, you guys, the it's, it's all, already been laid out, but there's been some good trash talk. There's been talk of leg babies and, you know, fat, <laughs> and fat shaving going on. Like, like... How excited are you two guys just to get just to get down to it? Uh, you know, I'm always excited to uh, go out there and put on a show for the fans, and uh, you know, I feel very uh, confident about this, this about this fight. King Mo won't be making no leg base this weekend, <laughs> not at all. And, and Mo, yeah, I won't be making none because uh, after I'm done, I'm gonna give him a plan B. <laughs> there is no plan B. <laughs> Giving me no damn plan B. Fuck around, King. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm helping my legs this week. Yeah, you'll take that plan B. No, nah, I ain't taking no plan B. <laughs> Additional questions? Back. <laughs> um, question for for Quentin and uh, Mo in a second. But um, can I ask Marcus Galvao? Um, and I Emmanuel Sanchez. I, mean, I think it's an interesting scenario going on because, of course. Um, uh, Duke Rufus trained your coach, uh, Marcus, and now his young fighter is very promising. Uh, it's a chance for your coach to go up against Duke Rufus. How interesting is that? I think the sport has evolved a lot. Each one has its own way. I'm very happy to be with Emmanuel Sanchez. É um lutador muito, muito bom, muito experiente. É um grande teste para mim. 
So the sports evolved a lot, and a lot of the uh, um, trainers work one with one another. So it's not, you know, surprise that's happening. And he thinks Emmanuel Sanchez is a very tough opponent. He's very excited, and he's going to put on a good fight. And, and for you, Emmanuel, obviously, um, you know, a lot of people have, uh, or do Rufus indeed, and a lot of other people think you could be a great star in this sport. Um, is it interesting for your coach going up against one of his pupils who's turned master against one of his pupils in you? Well, first, could be, will be. That's number one. Will be a star. I'm not already. I'm just kidding. Um, you know, he's had the corner against his brother before. You know what I mean? So uh, I understand it's it's conflicting there, but you know, it's just the nature of the business, the nature of the sport, and I know there's a great test in front of me, a great fighter in front of me, a former champion, and if he trained with whoever, you know what I mean, or if he trained with Duke's brother too, it wouldn't matter, you know what I mean, we know it's, uh, it's business at the end of the day, and we're going to go take care of business. Just a quick question, if I might, for Mr. Sergei Karatonov. Uh, Mr. Karatonov, um, obviously the, um, I'm here, I'm over here. Yeah, um, the 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 uh, heavyweight belt is vacant at the moment, I believe. Um, what are your plans in chasing down and, and getting that belt around your waist? Да, я как и все хочу драться за пояс, честь, достойный оппонент. Отношусь к нему с уважением, у него большой опыт, у нас будет хороший бой, а дальше уже будем смотреть. Like everybody else, I would like to chase the belt. Chase is a great opponent, and we think we're going to have a great fight on Friday night.